today we have for you a 2006 Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG. It's obsidian black in colour with black leather interior and it's just an absolutely stunning car. I've driven it and it drives beautifully. These were a huge improvement on the E55 compressor. It's got a very good service history to it. It's got two remote keys to the car. It's the update, obviously. It's got the seven-speed gearbox, adjustable suspension, navigation, and CD stacker are standard. It's got the paddle shift behind the steering wheel. Obviously, it's got Xenon lights. Uh, it's got a Harman Kardon sound system, memory electric seats. Um, it's also got climate control in the rear and a rear entertainment system as well. I think these represent excellent value when you consider they were over $200,000 when they were new. One of the best things about an AMG is they're, they're a pretty bulletproof car. They've got a big, strong engine, strong diff. The gearbox is a lot stronger than your standard E500 or E350. It's got the quad cam exhaust. The back seats fold down as well. The best thing about this car is you've got supercar performance with the utility of a four-door sedan. So you can drive the kids to school, whatever it may be. Fold the seats down if you're picking up things from the shops. It's got a nice big Bosch battery which is fantastic. No one's put a cheap small battery in there which will last you three to six months, which is good. Looking down the side, the car is a gun barrel straight. That's what you want when you buy an AMG. You don't want to see a car which has had panels resprayed or dents or scratches or scrapes. The wheels are in good condition. It's got tinted windows, which has probably helped in keeping the interior in such lovely condition. As I mentioned earlier, it's got very good log books to it. It's done 109,000 kilometres from you, which is absolutely nothing on a V8 Mercedes-Benz and certainly not an AMG. I think the 63 is one of the best engines they've had with the AMG series. This car doesn't have a compressor or anything like that. The other thing is not only does it have massive power, but it's got nice big brakes which will pull you up. It's got a very nice looking body kit, but not too over the top. And really when you compare it to something like an M5, it's a much better car. The M5's got the clutchless manual type transmission, whereas this car is a fully automatic transmission. So the BMW's got an SMG style gearbox. For me personally, that's one reason why I'd be buying a Mercedes-Benz. It drives absolutely beautifully. It appears to have been a family car. It does have the entertainment in the back. The navigation CD is present. We'll start it up. Yeah, it just sounds fantastic. We've got a CLK 63 at the moment as well. And we've got an ML 63. We actually buy quite a few AMGs like this because they've just been so reliable for us. Every 63 we've had has had a good service history and not had any problems at all. So if you've been looking for an E63 or even if you've been looking at E55s and you can spend a little bit extra going to the E63, I think that's much more sensible. Um, if you have been looking at those E55s, please come and have a look at this car. We can show you some differences in terms of, of gearbox, obviously engine, etc. They've got upgraded lights as well and body kit. It's quite nice to see them black. Generally, I found that all AMGs used to be a silver, generally a silver colour. So I quite like it when we get a nice black car like this in. But if you'd like to have a look, please come in. We're happy to take you for a test drive. We're located in Macville in Sydney. We are the old timer centre. We specialise in European cars, and at the present time we have about 65 to 70 cars in stock. Thank you so much for watching, and we look